Hi there everyone, welcome back. My name's Chris. Uh, today I wanted to make a quick video, um, something I've been meaning to do uh, for quite a long time actually. I wanted to take a look at the standard issue British uh, UBAX underbody armour combat shirt. Um, over in the States it tends to get shortened just to, to combat shirt. Basically um, any type of shirt where you've got the sort of the camo, flage uh, material on the sleeves and you've got more of a t-shirt down the centre designed to keep you cool and wick away sweat when you're wearing body armour, particularly in arid conditions, obviously very pertinent for the last uh, 13 or so years of uh, warfare in uh, Afghanistan and the like. Now the reason I've been meaning to make this video for a long time is that I feel this particular, this very specific type of combat shirt is probably, for airsoft usage, the best uh, upper torso garment you can get. Uh, there's a lot of different combat shirts out there on the market, or you know, military issue ones, uh, aftermarket stuff. There's more like replica gear and stuff made for airsoft and that sort of thing. But as far as I'm aware, uh, this combat shirt, the, the British issue, is the only one, it's certainly the only one I've ever seen, and I own a lot of them. This is the only one that uses uh, a synthetic um, t shirt type material on the center portion. Now, to um, explain what the difference with that, uh, this here is um, one of my original, like when I did my basic training, this is an issue t-shirt I got given. Um, they've gone through different colours uh, over, over the past few years, but they're originally green. Uh, and to, if you look up close, you can see all those little holes. Um, so you can see the sort of fabric that this is. Uh, what I'm wearing right now is just a standard cotton t-shirt. Um, and there's a big difference, a very, very big difference in how uh, this t-shirt material, which is the same as what I just showed you, and how a standard cotton, which is, I mean, th this sort of standard cotton weave is more akin to what you see in pretty much every other combat shirt that's out there. Hence why the British issue ones are more unique in having the centre portion being made of that green t-shirt that I just showed you. That synthetic material does one big thing for you. It gets rid of sweat far, far quicker. The very individual fibres within this type of fabric are weaved more loosely, there's fewer of them, it's less dense, it has less capacity for absorbing and holding moisture, and any it does absorb, it gets rid of much more quickly. Uh, so essentially, um, in hot climates, uh, and when you're, you know, you're exerting yourself, you're sweating, you've got extra layers on top of this, you know, mainly pertaining to chest rigs and plate carriers and armor carriers. This shirt just does a far, far better job. And, you know, I've tested this many a time wearing different plate carriers and rigs and stuff, running around a lot. Uh, summer, winter, you know, I, I think I still prefer this, to be honest, because, uh, you know, you can still sweat in the winter if you've got plate carriers are amazingly good at retaining huge, like, almost 100% of heat from your body. Like, at times I've got my hands really cold. Um, as often in the winter, I pretty much, like, I tuck them in, like, between my chest and the plate carrier, and that is the hottest place, like, much hotter than even in your, in your pockets there. And that's really good for warming you up. So, you know, they are amazingly good at retaining heat uh, and also sweat. There's just nowhere for that sweat to get away from your body when you've got sort of some sort of load-bearing rig on your torso. Getting rid of that sweat quicker is a big advantage, and that's what these ones do. There's a lot of the versions of these around. They were originally trialled a uh, long, long time ago. I've got one of these in temperate DPM material, CS95 pattern one, um, from I acquired somewhere, uh, probably pushing six years ago um, now, at least five. Uh, then uh, they were very common in desert DPM. Loads of them got issued out for years. Uh, for everyone going to Afghan and Iraq before MTP came in. Then there was the CS95 cut in MTP because there was that transitional period between all the DPM kit and uh, PCS coming in when you had this CS95 cut clothes but in the MTP pattern and then the personal closing system which was the new cut that came in. Uh, this is the first version of a PCS cut with the MTP camouflage. Now what you're issuing is um, actually even better than this version, that, and I think it's probably the, the, the current issue version is quite possibly the best um, you know, shirt upper torso garment you can get for assaulting in general, as long as you're happy with the pattern. Uh, and it has 
the current issue one has, all of this section is in full MTP, so even if you wear, say, a chess rig that only covers a small section of your torso, and then you've got all these areas around here that are uncovered instead of, <clears throat> instead of having this plain sort of green, browny uh, colour, which is good, it's subdued, it's a good camouflage in a lot of places, um, but you can carry on and have the full uh, camouflage pattern coverage with the, the new issue ones. So, like I say, a lot of these have been made, there's tons of them on eBay in the, the Desert DPM, the NTP in the PCS and CS95 cuts, um, all different sizes, they're very comfortable, you know, they are standard issue, they're not uh, the very best quality, but they are good, uh, they'll last you pretty well, you've got, um, got your arm pockets, you've got Velcro uh, zip here, you've got a nice high collar, it's good for protection from... Um, your sling chafing against you from the sun, insects, foliage, uh, BB hits if you're airsofting or they'd be good for paintballing, that sort of thing. Um, just, yeah, like I say, uh, you could roll up the sleeves, roll them down, whatever you want. You could fit uh, elbow pads in some of them. And they can be had very cheaply on eBay depending on the, the condition, what type they are. Just do a little bit of browsing around, guys, uh, if you can. If you like to wear a play carry sort of rig for airsofting, um, definitely check these out. If, uh, like I say, there's a couple of patterns out there to fit different needs and preferences. Um, but yeah, highly, highly recommended for uh, anyone if you want for summer usage, if for the, uh, the more sweaty guys out there, you know, <laughs> that, that happens. Um, I, I think in the height of the summer, if you've got any sort of play carrier on, you will sweat buckets and you will instantly notice. I mean, try like um, something with more of a cotton centered portion, maybe in the morning, and try this in the afternoon and see how quickly it dries out um, when you stop running around and sort of how much less sweat accumulates over time. And I, I think you'll be pretty pleasantly surprised, uh, to say the least. Uh, especially given, like I say, the availability and how cheap they are on eBay. So, uh, great bit of a soft thing kit. One of the few things where actually buying cheaper um, in the, the hobby of uh, airsoft wise, buying that cheaper thing is better than the, a lot of the higher brands in, in certain specific ways. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers for all the thumbs up and the shares, subscribes, all that good shit. Uh, Facebook links and Twitter down in the description box below. Do pretty much daily updates there, all sorts of gear and gun stuff. So uh, do please check that out and uh, thank you again for watching. See you next time.